People of Hearts of Iron, you have been cheated and lied to. The gentle laborer shall no longer suffer the noxious greed of Tommy K. We will dismantle his oppression board by board. We will saw the foundation of Big Dankus in half, even if it takes an eternity. With your support and your subscribers, we will send the hammer of the people's will crashing through the windows of Tommy K's house of servitude. Okay, that may have come off a little bit loud, but anyway, as you can probably tell, we're playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the Soviet Union today, and guess what? I ripped that speech off from somewhere big time. If you can guess where, big brain points time, buddy. All right, so I am going to be honest. I have not played the Soviet Union in an incredibly long time. I mean, incredibly so. It's probably not going to go very well. There's not really any rules, but I am going to try to keep it mostly historically accurate. So first off, let's max out the infrastructure in our level 8 states and level 7 states, which, my god, the Soviet Union is a lot more poor than I remember. Okay, so we'll just max out in those two states, and then we will... You know what? I'm going to do something really overpowered. I'm going to convert the sieves to mills. <laughs> All right, no, 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 wait, I said that backwards. I'm going to convert the mills two sibs and the reason i'm doing that i just thought about by the way let's do uh let's do finish the five-year plan then no let's do stall and constitution because i think we can go to work on your off the bat right yes all right great so what we're going to do is once we get 150 political power we are going to immediately swap over to war economy let's go over here to engineering a smart soviet is a happy soviet but i noticed there are no food industry technologies in here so uh take the hint Let's go ahead over here, and since that's most of our factories, we're just going to be working on guns and support equipment for a very, very long time. Do you know why we're working on guns? Because in a pinch, you can always eat the rifle stocks at a later date in time. The wood part, kind of crispy and chewy, but gets the job done if you get too hungry. All right, and then we're going to grab all of our Soviet divisions. We're going to put our tanks into one group. We're going to put our garrisons, or NKVD, into this group. Then our infantry we're going to put into this group. And then our cavalry divisions, we're just going to swap those to infantry and put them with these guys. Then our mountaineers, let's just, can we swap this guy over to a mountaineer? No, we can't. All right, so he's going to be a infantry as well. Go over here, so that's NKVD. You know what, for the time being, we'll just swap them over to infantry as well because there's no... There's no NKVD in the Soviet Union. We're just going to use the actual ground troops to enact our anger. All right. So we're just going to leave these theaters alone probably for a while. You know, and we're just going to like start putting divisions together until it's time for us to actually go to war with somebody. And now that I think about it, I think that's probably about it. Except for the Soviet Navy, which is not real. It's, it's a made up lie and it does not exist. So we're just going to put max dockyards on everything. And let's go ahead and delete our Air Force too. I mean, just for the sake of, I, well, actually, no, we'll just put them all in the same airfield at Moscow. That way, if there's any uprisings, we can take them down. All right. So, and yes, we are going to send some weapons and volunteers to the, well, hmm. I think for the sake of trying to keep it somewhat historical, I feel like if I send volunteers to Spain once that breaks out, it's just... It's not going to be fair on any level because we're going to easily be able to win. So if we have enough rifles left over, we're just going to send a bunch of our guns to the Spanish and let them use the guns and give us XP. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. All right. So so this should this focus should finish right about the time we're actually going to finish up the last of our infrastructure, I think. Right. March 15th, about a month. Yeah. So about a month. Okay. Um, now, what I'm doing here is this a strategy I did in a video a very long time ago. People thought I was an idiot for doing. It's called the uh, conversion kind of trick. Basically, what we're doing here is we're converting a lot of our uh, civilian factories, our military factories, to civilian factories in high industry areas. Now, the reason we're doing this is because... Alright, what about there? Is there any... Nope. Hmm. There's not really any factories anywhere. Um, what we're doing here... We'll keep some factories. Um, the reason we're doing this is because this will help us actually get like 15 extra civilian factories very early on. Uh, next, we're going to do this focus here, and then we'll decide if we're going down positive heroism or collectivist propaganda. Um, and then we're going to start doing finish five-year plan, you know, that kind of stuff. Can I, uh... 
Actually, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, I would need to do that too. For oh yeah, that's right. Quick fix propaganda would probably be better. Unless that research speed bonus comes into play. Again, like I said, I have not played the Soviet Union in an incredibly long time. Actually, I think next focus we're going to do this one to help us convert factories over quicker. And see? Now, it's pretty much, we're getting a civilian factory about every month, I would say. Yeah, they're about every month. Yeah, so that's going to be 8, 14, no, 15. So the, I'm just trying to figure out how many factories we're going to have. Um... Yeah, we'll leave all those okay. We'll, we'll leave all the ones over here on the right the same, and we're just going to convert all these over to civilian factories over on the left. Yeah, that'll, that'll be... Is that everything? Yeah, all right. Okay, so now let's go over here to our research slot. Let's get dispersed industry for later on because we're going to be getting bombed by the, uh, the stupid man in the mustache. All right. Socialist reform. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do, 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 do. I can't remember. Don't we get a... Yeah, this guy for stability. Yeah, and that way it's going to help our consumer goods a little bit instead of being in the negative. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out here. I, I did get, I'll just let the play, uh, game play in the background. I'm trying to decide... Positive heroism would be nice for the extra 10% research speed along with the population and then the research slot down here. But if we go down here, we get... You know, infrastructure upgrades, rubber, political power, and all this stuff. So I guess we're going to do collectivist propaganda. Because this research speed bonus is nice, but we don't really need it. And if anybody hears any like, bum, 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 in the background, I've covered this several times before. And I'm getting so annoyed about having to because of these people. But my neighbors, um, I'll just say it, they're the most... They are the most stereotypical hillbilly kind of individuals you could find. Um, they own about four. I, I notice four every day. I can guarantee you there's at least two. But usually there's like four huge, huge, gigantic, big time trucks, right? And these trucks, they will go outside, start the truck, and do nothing. They will just sit there and listen to the radio or they will go back inside while it's running. And then they will turn the truck back off and then go back in their house. They don't go anywhere. They'll just sit in it for a couple minutes for no reason whatsoever. And it's completely random. It's like almost 15 minute cycles. It's like they're using German tanks over there. Like they're messing with a German tiger. Let's see. Were there any decisions I can take? I can't remember. Nope. And I don't really want to use our political power right now because I'm worried about any of this other stuff. Hmm. I'm trying to remember about what kind of generals and stuff get affected by the purge. I guess we'll just do industrial concern for right now. Because I can't remember which generals and individuals and all that actually get hurt from that. But anyway, my neighbors will turn their truck off or whatever in a couple minutes. I'm kind of surprised the Civil War in Spain hasn't fired yet. It's July of 36. Whenever I play as Germany, it always fires off in like March by the latest. There we go. Collectivist propaganda. Let's do finish the five-year plan. Ooh, wait. All right, let's go and do this to upgrade our infrastructure, which we can build civilian factories in in a minute. Um, I don't think it affects any of these guys, actually, now that I think about it, because these are all designers. Yep, yeah, see? They just turned off the Tiger tank engines. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and pick our tank designer for our hard, atta uh, hard attack and armor. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah. And I guess we'll actually go down to, like, one factory there. Ah, hear it? They started it up again. The Tiger... Alright, supportive of them, it's not that important right now, so we not that big a deal. But we'll just keep swapping factories over. Oh, and they turned it off again. See, that's what I'm talking about. They just turn it on and turn it off and turn it on and turn... Hey. Seriously, I turned my microphone down, so I, like, I tried to cut that out. Hey. Alright, anyway. Sorry, my brain just could not handle that, that just level of really stupidity anymore and just kind of shut off for a minute there while I'm playing the game. All right. And let's do this one right here. Uh, let's go over here to industry, construction, and improve machine tools because in a powerful Soviet Union is a happy Soviet Union. Um, we don't need to do any of this right now. 
and we'll do the probably the great purge in like 38 i would assume be a pretty good date more civilian factories then we're going to max out the civilian factories after they've been all swapped over in the areas we have max industry um okay right here we could probably max out there here i'm just finding zones with a minimum of six infrastructure and that's where we're maxing our stuff out in this was a uh, resolve or what is this yeah resolve uh this one's gonna be pretty high on our list above karkov which was here right yeah actually let's move it up one more and is there any more that are like high up level six or higher no there's not okay that's probably good enough then oh and i have historical ai on and as you can tell right here iron man mode so there will be no cheats there will be no going back and trying to change things from a save and all that kind of stuff all right now what is our count right now 64 civilian factories 18 military factories all right let's do this um let's go here Prince of Terror, no. Captive Industry. Let's do a Captive Industry so we can boost up our civilian factories for a little while. And an armament effort who will just swap over to civilian factories for free. And see? Look at that. We have so many civs already. Do, 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 do. And we're up to 70. Hey, Germany. Soviets are better than you except for the military count and the dockyard count. Yeah. Wow, I just realized, it's 1937, and the Spanish still have not had a civil war on historical. Hmm. That is really surprising. Anyway. Um. So our Mountaineers. Then. Well, no, I guess I'll just leave those there. Just kind of setting up our theaters right now. There's really not much else to do. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Engineering, no. Nothing there. Planes, we already have fighter ones. Um, artillery, no. Let's go ahead and get the 1936 tanks, because once they do the uh, tank thing, I can't think of the name of it, I'm pretty sure that we get a bonus, if I remember correctly. So, we'll do that. Um, then we'll go ahead and get our... Wait. Oh, no, I can't get that extra resource. Ah, oh, dang. All right. Never mind. Uh, so then we're going to do the extra research slot. Then we're going to go to infrastructure effort and transformation of uh nature yeah for the extra political power well, actually wait now we'll get to this right here for the infrastructure and then we'll go down to workers culture i just realized the game's paused forgive me all right oh and for this series and because you can probably tell at the bottom uh we are still doing these in like 30 minute increments kind of deals um max sieves here 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 any of our territories with like 60 minimum ish nope all right okay so our next focus we're going to do extra research slot like i said then we're going to go under here we're going to be getting uh infantry equipment upgrades i guess for later on why not then armor we've already got that going support companies let's get oh there's the spanish civil war all right so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, because we have some army experience, I'm going to swap all of our divisions over to one battalion infantry. Like this, you'll see, you'll see. Um, yes. Alright. Now we're going to send a bunch of rifles to the Spanish. Alright, let, let's... Uh, I think these right here are the old ones. Uh, let's send... 15,000 with 200 ish support equipment and yeah that'll be fine all right now that they accepted it it's taken it out of our stockpile it should have yes it did so now we're going to just swap all these guys back over to the infantry and just like that boom i wouldn't consider that an exploit by the way um, now let's also knock off 30 days from our tank since we're at 78 we're gonna go over here and research uh, close air support and then we're gonna use that to take 78 days down to 48 on our tanks and then we're gonna start doing our doctrine which is going to be superior firepower I know superior firepower Soviets well let's go ahead and start doing that now that I think about it yeah we'll start doing superior firepower 
Do you hear my neighbors? I'm sure you can. Oh, they bought a motorcycle last week. I forgot to tell you. All right, and just I'm just gonna try to ignore it, but let's keep going. All right, so let's get um. I kind of want to get a communist revolutionary just for the sake of historical. You know what? Why not? Just because we're the Soviet Union, let's get that uh, communism support up to a hundred. Yeah. Oh, wait, Chiang Kai-shek arrested in Guangxi. Cle okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll let him live. I think. I think they let him live. I can't remember. Anyway, so down here, since we got this extra research slot, this one's going to be going over here to research air doctrine. Then for our focus, we're going to do that infrastructure I was talking about, then go down the militarized schools and stuff. Let's see. Well, we don't need that. Mm, or that. Let's go and start upgrading artillery. Wait, no. Can we... Yeah, no, we'll just start getting artillery. I'm sorry, but wait, what were the Soviet mobile tanks? Or amphibious? Huh. They look kind of like modern day stuff, except for this one. This one looks just like teeny. Yeah, I said teeny. Alright. Are the guns in there? Or did... Oh, no legal path, because the AI got them and... Wait, what? What does it mean? There's no legal transport path. Oh, well, now they got through right there. But beforehand, there was. What? Great. Well, I guess that means we're just going to be having to send them an advisor then or something. Okay. Uh, more civilian factories here, 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 here. I feel like there was one more state that had very high amount of... Uh, there. All right. Now let's upgrade some more infrastructure. Well, is there anywhere else? No? Okay. I might lose out on my experience down there. It's going to be kind of stupid if I do because of that stupid thing. Like, I don't get it. Why is it there's no legal transport path for me to send stuff to them? But Germany's able to. You know? It's like Germany has to go through France. I would have to go through France. I just don't understand. All right. German-Soviet Treaty. We will give them the bonus so we get our armor tech bonus for our mediums. Right? Did, did I, wait, did I do the right one? Oh, boy, don't tell me I did the wrong one. Oh, I did it. Okay, good. Awesome. All right, let's go and get these uh, T-28s. And then we'll get the T-34s later. Uh, now let's go to militarized schools. And I think one of these will give us bonuses, doesn't it? No, it does not. Just air XP. Oh, wow. We're already in 1937. It's going a lot faster than I expected. All right. Yep, looks like we're going to... All right. The Republicans have already lost the war. All right, forget it. Did they even get any guns? Okay, how'd they get like 500 rifles, but they couldn't get the rest? Oh, now there's going to be a delivery. Because of Barcelona. You know what? No, forget it. No, I'm not going to send up 15,000 guns because they're going to die. They're going to die regardless. They're not going to be able to hold this, even if I did send the guns. So I'm not going to do that. No. No, that, that's... No, I'm not going to send it to them just to waste 15,000 rifles. I'll let my own guys use that. Thank you. All right. Guess might as well just start training them up then, since I just lost that. Um, and we'll make these guys 20 width. And we're going to need to add some support companies here in just a couple minutes for engineers. This and this. There we go. Now for a research slot. Let's go over here and get... No, we don't need that. Let's go over here to industry and get... Hmm... I guess we'll get excavation, and then we'll work down towards uh, rubber, I guess. This doesn't... I can't remember. Did so? No, we don't have any rubber. All right. So we're going to need that for our motorized and stuff later on. Yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot to disable origin, or whatever it's called. Yeah, origin. Um, ooh, we're 100% communist. Isn't that beautiful? See? Happy Soviets. All right. Let's do improve worker conditions to boost up our happiness a little bit more. Oh, wait. Could I have gone to total mob? No, I have to be at war to do that. I can just go to war economy, that's all. All right. Let's go and get the next one there. Then we're going to go down our focus and get workers' culture. All right. Is there anywhere else? A little lot. Okay. There. Um, 
Okay, that territory's maxed. I could have sworn there was like a couple more so oh there's an 80. Wait, no. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and max out the infrastructure there. As soon as it's done with one of those. And is there any more upgrades? Neat. Alright. So we're gonna just max that infrastructure for level five in these territories, and then we're gonna build civilian factories there. Alright. Let's go and get synthetic research going for our rubber for our Air Force later on. I know, Soviet Air Force, right? Scary sounding. You know, honestly, I might just convert all of the civs to mills at this point. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. Let's just convert all the civilian fact or the military factories over to civilian factories. And I think that's actually. Okay, there's one. I'm just looking for anywhere there's like. Uh, not allowed sign on the right. Mm, there, there. Over there, it's all done. Okay, here. Actually, should be our entire, like, military economy. Alright. And then we'll max out those two factories. Wait, how quick can we convert? January 15th. Okay, so we can convert a factory like every month, guaranteed. All right, and we'll start working on our T-34 research. Get those done in about 100 days and steamroll through the lines of the Germans. Um, modify government. All right. I think it's about time for us to do the purge, I'm thinking. Because, I mean, all this stuff, I mean, none of this extra stuff is really... Oh, wait, no. We'll do transformation of nature, and then I guess we'll do the purge. Because as long as it's done before August of 38, there should not be a civil war breakout. Yeah, alright. And I kind of want to stay away from all these military theorists for a little while longer. So let's go ahead and do light aircraft designer. And then we'll do the purge. Alright. Um. Yeah, this is going pretty good. What's our economy like right now? Ooh. Almost 100 civilian factories. Nice. Compared to the Germans, who have, like, probably 60-ish. Alright. Did it just go up? Yep, now we're at 100. Okay, now this one here, we're going to use this research bonus on... We're not going to really need to worry about fuel for a while. So let's go ahead and do the computing bonus for our research. Our happiness has gone up a good chunk. Now for our war support, I'm just thinking, what's it gaining off of day? We... Okay, so the world tension is what's boosting this up really right now, for some reason. So, well, I'm trying to think here. We want to possibly get high as we can with stability. So, for that, our war support's 93. Now, what would it need to be staying at for us to go to war con? It doesn't say. Alright, I'm thinking it's 50%. I could be wrong. Okay, you know what, we'll also do Promises of Peace as well, to get more, you know, happiness and more support. Or not happiness, I'm not thinking right, uh, to get that boosted up. But, let's go ahead and do the Great Purge, shall we? You know what, let's just keep our war support up. Let's do it. Wait, what? Fifth column, persecution, people will reverse everything. Okay, I'll understand that. So let's go and do war propaganda against Japan while we're doing Promises of Peace, shall we? <laughs> let's confuse our people. Wait, so that... Oh, no, that balances it out. Okay, yeah, so if we're getting... Yeah, okay, so it's negative 1% war support daily. But then this one up here is plus 1% war support daily. So it's really evened out, and we're just gaining the plus 0.50 um, stability daily. So, yeah, th this is going to be fine. All right, good. So we're going to be at 100% stability. And uh, it'll probably be up actually over 100% if we go to war with Germany. So... Okay, we're at 109 civilian factories. This is going very well. Then we're going to upgrade our infrastructure. Alright, we're just going to pop that down at the bottom. And we're probably going to start making mills because of the Germans in like mid-39. Once we have like 140-ish factories, 150. Somewhere in that ballpark, I'm thinking. Alright, so. Trial of the Anti-Soviet Trotskyist Center. Um, we want to keep this guy. Khrushchev, no. 
Party members can be trusted. Oh, wait, no. I have to choose one of these? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, I guess we'll just get rid of Khrushchev. No biggie, we're already 100% communist. I'm sorry, Khrushchev, but you're not going to be able to try to tick off Kennedy later. Um, so, now that we've picked that. Wait, this is 210 days? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I can't remember if it has to finish by 38 or August or... Oh, boy. I can't remember. Oh, boy. We might accidentally fire off a purge here or a civil war. Oh, no. All right, these guys are all trained, so we need to stop training them and save our guns, because we're now in the six. Oh, we have 44,000 rifles. How very Soviet of us. Oh, all right. We'll just keep making that one support. Uh, guns are more important for the Soviets. Let's add an engineer company. Pull down our artillery to here. All right, and synthetic oil, nice. All right, so. Now it's going to replace with... Actually, there's no one else we should replace up here. I mean, everyone else is kind of weak. Prince Terror? No. No. We're just going to let the Purge continue on. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, Secret Trial of the Generals. Uh, let's see who to... Uh, theorist? Oh, that will lead to a civil war. All right, yeah. So, let's go and do this. Uh, Chief of the Army, Military High Command. Alright, let's just get rid of the Navy guys. Take them out. So, I think one of these guys are fine then, right? It, oh, wait. Military Theorist. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go and get this guy then. I think this is the one we just picked. And then our technology bonus is going to get that. Followed by now, let's start building some synthetic factories. One here, we're going to pull these guys down by one factory each. There, there. Uh, I can't remember what other zones were for Tula. Here. And here. Alright. There we go. So, now Germany is under unknown focus, so that... Mm, we don't know. Since we don't need the rubber right now, as soon as this is done, I'm going to go ahead and get decryption and swap this guy over to encryption so we can figure out what the AI is doing and maybe if we're lucky, the AI is not going to try to figure out what we're doing. And I kind of want to stage a coup in Franco, I'm not going to lie, but they're at 100% stability after a civil war, which makes no sense. And I can't remember when Finland goes to war with, or Soviets go to war with Finland. I can't remember if that's a... Oh, Okay. Um, Navy and Air Force have been getting off too easy. Enemies are everywhere. Yeah, remove the guys, the Navy. Alright. Is that the purge? Nope. We still got a few more days. Uh, and now we're in August, so I guess this is going to be kind of the iffy part if there's going to be a little civil war that fires off after we've killed all those people already. Oh, we're almost at 100% stability. Alright, delay. And now let's go for the next one Mobile defense. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see, are we short on anything as the Soviets? No. Okay. All right. Encryption is done. So now we're going to go back here and get more down our path of rubber processing. The Great Purge has finished. All right. So. And Trotsky plot purged, question mark? Wait, why is it only 5%? It's like, didn't we kill everyone? Hmm. Alright. So, here's what we're going to do. I think right here is a good spot to go ahead and end this part of the series. And then we're going to come back with the next part. Because now, once we come back, we're going to start going out stuff like here. And this is going to be up to you guys. Do you guys want to see us do rehabilitated military or in KVD primacy? Uh, uh, primacy? I'm more land... I'm more feeling towards rehabilitated military because that, that looks a little bit nicer compared to the NKVD stuff. But it's up to you guys. And you guys will be the ones that actually decide what we're going to do. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And my god, we're at 120 civilian factories. What about the United States? Oh, dear god. Okay, that's a lot. Alright, and then when we come back, we're going to see what happens with the Germans. Alright, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below if you have any suggestions. 
Stay awesome.